I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Done all right, guys, working on a 2005 uh, Ford Mustang, replacing the PCM. Gonna go to USA, Ford Programming. Using the iScan SF, gonna do a PMI on this. It's gonna pull the information out of the original module, install it into the new module. We will need a uh, program two keys. Wait, we agree. Please make sure it's over 12.5. I have a maintainer on it at 13.5 right now. Okay, it's read the part number, read the VIN. This is all correct. Verified on the door sticker, it is correct. PMI. Just saying that, uh, after you place it in, you're gonna need two keys to start the vehicle. PCM. Do you want to adopt the configuration from the original module? We're gonna hit yes. Install the original module first. The original module is installed, so we're gonna hit okay. It's reading. Read data complete, press enter. Is the VIN consistent? Yes, it is. If you'd like to use the as-built data to set the configuration of the new module, um, no, I usually hit no. Uh, press this to use the as-built data. I usually press the, use the original data out of the, the computer. After, okay, so turn the ignition switch off, replace the module. That's what we'll do now vehicle already has a used module or remand module installed. I'm gonna put in another remand. So that's where it's located. We'll get it swapped over. All right, got the module swapped over. Here. I always like to hit the door striker. Close the door. All right, so new module's installed. Press enter. It's downloading the file from the cloud that I just saved. That's another thing, make sure that you're connected to the internet, that way it can upload the file to the cloud and then I can re-download it. Next step, you will do the programming. Turn the ignition switch on. Turn off the ignition switch. Turn on the ignition switch. Please wait. And it will start doing the programming. So it's gonna go through, it's gonna write data file one, I think all the way up to four. That uh, depends on the module actually. So uh, yeah, now it's a waiting process. We have a progress bar that pops up and stuff. So uh, when this is completed, we'll jump back on here. All right, that took about five minutes. Uh, module programming finished. Press enter, turn the ignition switch off. Just turned it off. Please wait. It's gonna do a countdown for 15 seconds. Okay, press enter to continue. Turn on the ignition switch, and just turn it on. It's gonna give us our information here. As you can see on the top right, it was clearing the fault codes. Um, this vehicle is not gonna start right now because it's a module replacement. We need to do the PATS functions. Please turn the ignition, or, uh, engine off, which we couldn't get it started. There's our uh, 
as a module information. Now, grab another tool for uh, programming on the keys. All right, using the X-Tool Pad 3, or Pad 2, I can't even remember what this is. Yeah, Pad 3. Key programming, we're gonna go and find forward. Forward. Establishing communication. It's gonna try to pull the bin. Okay, North American Ford mobilizer. Now we look for the vehicle. It is a Mustang. And it's right there. 05 to 09. Let's just see what it's got in there. Number of keys in memory one. We're just gonna do all keys lost. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you have two keys. One, they should not be cloned of each other because uh, that's, uh, that's a no-go. Vehicle will only recognize, recognize it as one key. Both these have the Ford logo on them, so I am not worried about it being a cloned key. Um, and I was just out here last week, programmed the other module, so. Got the key on. And yes. If you want to open up the free wait mode to get through the security access. Success. You will now need at least two keys programmed. Sequentially insert the keys. Turn each one to the on position. So I just took this one out. I'm gonna put it back in for three seconds. Take that one out. Swap it with the other one. One, two, three. Now, we'll try starting it with the first one. We're gonna hit OK on there. Okay, it starts to runs. Runs just like the other computer did, so yay. Make sure the other key starts and runs it. Well, yep, runs like shit. Yay.